Man, last few weeks of pre-season, but it starts Saturday, doesn't it, the real work? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, pre-season's great. You can get a lot of great content into the players and um, a lot of time on the training ground and, and putting your principles across and getting the fitness levels up, etc. But, yeah, now we're into the, the business side of it and want to hit the ground running Saturday and get off to a great start, as I'm sure every club does, and uh, we're excited. We're looking forward to it. And, and ahead of the first game, is it a case of wanting to squeeze as much as you can in into that time or wishing you had a bit longer to, to get things you want in place? I think it's uh, you'd always like longer. You know, you know, we always want time on the training ground as coaches and the opportunity to, to put that across. But we've uh, how we've periodised the, the pre-season has gone exactly as we wanted, and um, we've had some really good loading and content into the players. And, uh, and this week we've tapered slightly to, to try and uh, hit optimal levels on Saturday and peak. You know, and we're really happy with that from from both a football point of view for the work we wanted, but also from a, a physical and sports science point of view. We're really happy with the work that's been done. Staff have been fantastic, players have been incredible and yeah, we're, we're excited and looking forward to this first game. Mm -hmm. Of course, a little bit more excitement for you personally maybe uh, against the Swindon side where you had a good time. Absolutely, it's a great club and um, I absolutely love my season there. I really did, as did several of my staff and um, you know, it was, it was incredible, it was. And, uh, to come so close to promotion as we did in the situation that we were in and, and what we inherited coming in uh, was a credit to everyone from from Clem the owner all the way all the way down through the club. Um, just a shame we couldn't get it we couldn't get it over the line. Um, but I, you know I, lo I love the club. It's, you know I've got a lot of time for for the supporters and and the uh, the welcome they gave me and the support they gave me while I was there. So uh, I wish them. The very best of luck for this season, apart from the two games against us. And but I'm in a, I'm in a great place here at Colchester. I absolutely love it. And uh, you know I've I've felt a real warmth since coming in and a real connection here. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting going. And uh, it'll be nice, but uh, surreal at the same time on Saturday. Yeah, and like the start of every th season, the games come thick and fast early yeah. on. Are you a one game at a time? Type manager, or is it a case yeah. of you look at three or four games in it together, or a monthly target you put to the players? I don't think you can get too far ahead. It's about the next game, and because um, that can have an impact on the next one. Uh, we've got thoughts in our head for the first couple of games and what we're looking to do, but that will have a bearing on what happens on on Saturday. So, 100% focus at the moment is on Swindon. Let's get three points. Let's get the win on the board, and then we go from there. And the pre-season games have seen that there's plenty of players that all want to be in your starting eleven on yeah. Saturday, and someone's going to be disappointed and some are going to be happy. But they're the decisions that you, you've got to make, uh, and, and the squad have got to accept it. Yeah, absolutely. And I always see that as my job is to make the decision that's right for the group and right for the club. And um, there'll always be people disappointed as individuals, but our whole mindset collectively has to be about the group. It's a long season. There's a lot of games. With the changes in the injury time rules, etc., I think games are going to be closer to 100 minutes than 90 now. So, the full squad's going to be needed, and uh, there might be one or two disappointed on, on Saturday to not make the team or not make the squad. But in two, three weeks' time or two, three months' time, they could be key and having a real big impact on our season.